Ken Haas, mighty warrior, sporter of a fiendish head garment. It's new, it's bold, it's multicolored, kind of indicative of his soul and his character. <laughs> really? I think so. <laughs> it's not black. <laughs> <laughs> the fiendish trainsman has arrived. Now listen. Yes, bunch I'm of listening. cool. We already went through my guitar, we which did. was a glorious weapon. Yeah, we're we going to talk about a couple other things. Though. I think we should because there's, some there's, things we're there's, talking there's about. There's so many. Glorious reverent offerings. Yeah. And, you know, the bass players are always, where's the basses? Well, without a bass player, where are you? You're, I agree. You're in a dirt well, of absence of low frequency. Without a bass player, you are in an organ trio, sir. Well, <laughs> but that's not a bad place to be. We won't, we won't, whoa, use, whoa, we, well. we won't use that analogy. <laughs> but please continue. I hold in my hands the new Bass Hauser Fat Fish 32. Because, actually, its official name is the Brad Hauser Signature Bass Hauser Fatfish 32. Because we a, wanted to see how long of a name we could trademark. I think that's appropriate. I think we won. I think you did. Yeah. So tell us about this. This is a semi-hollow uh, body style loosely based on our lovely Air Sonic. Yes, which is a glorious uh, instrument. But, however, without the, uh, without the F-holes punched through, this <laughs> is a, a semi-hollow that you can put stuff in. Right? The Smuggle Caster. Smuggle caster, uh, 32 inch bass, reverse headstock, obviously, uh, Karina body and neck with the walnut. Cool, yes, indeed. Um, master volume, master tone. We got our P rails and our J rails here. Pickups always in flux with Brad. Okay, I think we're gonna see a thick brick in this by the end of the year. All right, and this thing does fat. This is this P pickup, which is a little closer to the bridge than you would normally find in any. I'm pointing to guitars like there's basses behind me. <laughs> by the way. Just wanted to... And onto this. Playing this bass, it it doesn't sound like anything shorter than a 34. That's got thud. Thud. What do you got? I've got this brand new Rick Vito signature model. What is the official title of this guitar? Oh, this is the Soul Shaker. It's the says Soul Shaker. The Soul Shaker. This thing is beautiful. I've been lusting after this since I first saw it. It's just got a volume and a tone, right? Volume and a tone and three way toggle switch. Of course, the Bigsby B5. We've got. Uh, Reverend, uh, the our classic Alnico humbuckers. Okay. Uh, we just really like the look of the points, and so did Rick. So this cool. is not this is not the dual pro pickup of the original Rick Vito okay. signature model from Reverend. These are our act actually our classic Alnico humbuckers. Um, obviously, we got the moto, the pearl top, right, and headstock overlay on a Karina body, ebony board. Let's talk about that. Cool. And then. This two-tone binding is something that we have custom made uh, up in the state of Washington. And they actually, they take layers of plastic and they glue them together and then they cut through the layers vertically in order to get this to get that look. beautiful look. And this beautiful. is, uh, not only is this exclusive to Rick's model, it's exclusive. Right, exactly. Yes. No one else has it. Yes. <laughs> it sounds glorious. It does. <laughs> Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, 
I dig it too. Hey, no, it's uh, also available in this particular tone here. Yeah, as well. this black, black pearl, gray pearl. I don't know what we're calling it. It's beautiful. It's not my job to know what these things are called. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Why would it be? Penny passes guitars. Miss Penny's here. I'll play through a bass amp, I ain't afraid. Ooh, look at that. New for 2019, the Reverend Trick Shot. This is uh, obviously it's a takeoff on our charger platform, but unlike the Buckshot with the Tunematic Bridge, uh, we are doing a string through six saddle, more traditional uh, T style bridge with Reverend's uh, T Alnico uh, pickups. Uh, traditional mount on a traditional rhythm pickup, whereas the Buckshot, of course, has the uh, Revtron up here. Oh, this I got is you. a more yeah. traditional guitar all the way around, but so it's a Carina body, uh, roasted maple neck. And mass volume, master tone, bass contour control. And the, the, the wonderful tones of the Aguilar bass amp playing guitar. As you do. It happens. But but this, is, it. this is the new trick shot. Which is a beauty. What is this glorious? That is the Reeves, Reeves Gabrell's dirt bike in metallic tangerine. Which is fantastic. Uh, so the Reeves, uh, as we've discussed before, Reeves just wanted a guitar that sat by the door that when he got called to go sit in with somebody, he could just grab a guitar and go and plug it into anything and it was gonna be perfect. Uh, it features his signature rail hammer pickup in brushed nickel. And the fun thing that we've been having with these dirt bike models is we are putting them out in all of the 60s and 70s Schwinn colors. Cool. Uh, we did the blue, we've done the green, we're doing the purple still. And uh, we, this year we are introducing the metallic tangerine. I kind of want to get that lime green going next. Oh, there you go. There's so many cool colors with Schwinn. Like, you can do it. And also the uh, the metallic root beer. It's the new color for the Mike Watt Watt Plower. This year, a metallic root beer. This in gloss, surprisingly similar to that 70s Schwinn. Ah, gotcha. Yes, indeed. Well, this is a glorious weapon. Of course, that, it has the base contour to get a little bit more girth. It does. And that floating, the floating Wilkinson trim. The body is routed out underneath the trim, so you can do all the floaty stuff. Uh, in front of you, you actually have a Reeves Gabrell's distortion generator. Is this in here? That is. For the kids. Penny, hand him the other one. Oh, this one's got the uh, the Sustaniac. And this is this, is, color this well. is going to Wildwood after the show, by the way. Lance uh, sent me a message telling me he wanted this and that. He figured out how to turn it on. He doesn't need me. Paste on there, it gets all kinds of. It does. What, what you've got going on here, obviously, this is the on off switch that controls the Sustainiac system. Uh, this three way toggle in the middle is the fundamental. Okay. And up gives you a sub octave. And, and then down gives you the sub octave with an with a octave above. <laughs> Twisted. It is. You can have really annoy your neighbors with that. You can, yeah. But I was saying, if you're playing behind some singer songwriter singing song about trees and justice, you know, yeah. stuff. Pertinent stuff, I'm not saying it's not, but the guitar player then is not going schweedle schweedle. You want to paint some pictures behind there. Am I right? Care Bear sounds. Indeed. And you can do that with this. You can also Reeves. conjure up the sounds of Mordor and or the sounds of Care Bear. Yeah. Uh, Reeves is known for, for turning on that sustainer and running it through various electronic tomfoolery and trickery. Reeves, uh, you're a demon. And he is a demon. 
and doing very, very long extended legato yes. notes and things. Um, it is it is wicked and majestic. And he he is, I mean, he really brought this this particular system uh, into the public eye, all, going all the way back to Tin Machine, and it's been a sort of a staple of his sound. And so we needed to do it now. Interestingly, there's still a three-way toggle on this model because you can use the sustainer driver as a neck pickup. Okay. And um, it's not the warmest sounding neck pickup in the world, but it does offer some variation in tone. All right. Um, and it sounds really good combined with this pickup, but when you're really driving that system, just having it on the bridge, yeah. it's just super bad to the bone. Uh, this very specific color uh, for the RG Sus, as we like to refer to it, is the metallic silver freeze. That's beautiful. Freeze. I dig sustainer. it. Sustainer. That's Get very, it. very cool. Pushing the envelope. Adding really cool features. Absolutely. Doing some really cool high-end stuff. Working with really cool high-end guys. Well, I don't know about that, but we got some badass with, hat wear. With great hats. With great hats. Yeah. That's important. It is. Well, listen, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Ken, always a pleasure, my good man. Thank you for joining us. I'm looking forward to you coming out to the Wildwood Lair and hanging out with us. I'm looking forward to this weekend where you rock hard oh, at the we're Reverend Nam. We're going to do it. I got the boy in tow. Yeah. He's got that fringe jacket. Yeah, got you the got the Toby phone. in tow, too. The mighty Toby's going to be there throwing yeah. down that B3 like a beast. Yeah. So, anyways, folks, thanks for tuning in. Greg Hawk, Wildwood Guitars with Ken Haas, Reverend Guitars. Take it easy, but take it.